Hi, welcome to Any Old Dad. I'm Mark. This week we're going to carry on with the coaches and we're going to add lighting to them. If you haven't seen the previous videos where I detailed the interior and done a respray, I'll put a link up above and down below. Here we are on the workbench. Let's look at the components we're going to use for the coach lighting. So we've got a strip of LEDs here, which I've soldered some droppers onto. So we've got the red for the positive and the black there for the negative. Now it's important when you're soldering these together on this strip here, there's a resistor before the LED. So if you look at the tabs on the other end, you can see the tabs go straight into the LED with no resistor. So I got this strip from a battery set I picked up in Lidl. Yeah, you can see it is there. It's powered by a battery box. And I've just cut a section off. You can see as you go along the strip there, it's got sections where you can cut with little copper tabs so you can solder droppers onto. Now to go along with the strip, we have a capacitor which we'll put in which will help eliminate uh, dropouts if it goes over dirty track, breaks in the track, that sort of thing. So, so it will stop any flicker. We have a rectifier, which is uh, four diodes set in a diamond pattern. And what this will do is this will smooth out the power supply either from DCC or DC. And then I have a little potentiometer here, which is basically a variable resistor. And this will allow me to adjust the brightness. And along with that, I will be putting another resistor with it. That will work with the capacitator to stop any surges. And then the power pickup will come from these little DCC pickup springs. Which will go on to these metal wheels that will rip be replacing on the coaches. So I'll have to take them apart and make one side live, but I'll show how I do that later on. So what I'm going to do now is set up these components on the workbench here, connected to the track power so you can see how it works. So here we have it all connected up. You can see the LEDs are glowing. So if we start over here. This is the track power, so this would be connected to the pickups on the wheels. So we have track power coming in to the rectifier and from that we have a negative and positive coming out so the negative in black is going around connecting on to the negative of the LED strip the positive is coming through potentiometer then on through a second resistor into the LED strip and then if you can see here across the negative and positive, we have the capacitor. So if I disconnect the track power, you will see the lights don't go out. They just slowly fade away. So this will give you time for any bit of dirty track or break in the track for the wheels to get over and recharge. And if we reconnect the power, lights come back on faster charges up again and it's ready to go again. Now the potentiometer, if I give this a little turn and see how the lights get brighter and dimmer. So I'm going to be fitting this onto the coach, probably onto um, the hole in the rear um, door. There's no glass or anything in that, so I'll fit it there, paint it black so you can't really see it, and then I'll be able to adjust the lighting in the coaches. So now it's time to solder it all up and fit it into the coach and see how it looks. Before we get started on the soldering, let's just sort out the wheel sets with putting the DCC concepts pick up spring on them. Okay, this can be a bit fiddly. So here we have wheel set. Okay, now they have insulators on them. They what those little black bits of plastic in there are. So that insulates 
this bit from the wheels. So we need to bypass that. So we're going to pull off one of the wheels. Right, so off, just put that to one side. And what I do with these particular wheels is I just cut off the inside of the plastic, like so. And I have a drill bit here that happens to be the same diameter as the hole. So I can use that to push it out. Now you can see on there how one end has got a slight chamfer, or sorry, rim on it to catch. So what we're going to do is put it back on the wheel. And I'm just going to put a little bit of a wedge in here. This just makes it easier to put it back in. Because what we're going to do is we're going to put a bit of wire through here to make a connection. So we're just putting a little bit of a chamfer on it. Not too much now. Clean that up. I think because you're dealing with something very small here, it is very fiddly. Okay, now we're going to take some wire. So we just need a couple of strands of wire. And twist those together. Pass them through. Bend them around. So this is going to connect this part here to the wheel to make an electrical connection. So we're doing this on one side only. with the wire coming through now we press it onto the wheel this is just to get it seated back in again see by using that then you can just push down and take the whole thing off again and push it home and then we can trim off those wires before we put the wheel back together again, we need to put the spring on. So here's the spring. And there's the long bit on there that we'll solder on. Always make sure you put it on. So it's against the side of the wheel that you've made live. And just push that back on again. And see, this is an interference fit, so it is quite tight. And you have to be careful that you don't stick it into your fingers, which I have done before, and it does hurt. So now we've got a gauge and tool. So I'll put that one a bit far. So there we go. Just press the wheels together. Spin it around to make sure the, the wheels are on square. Let's go there a little bit. And this wants to be like an interference fit, so there we are. Now we'll do a test. I'll get my multimeter. Set it on resistance. So we 
Cast type by join on. Okay. Should hear the buzzer go off. So, this is the side I've made live, this one here. As you can see, it's not going off, there's no connection. Put that on there. You can see now whatever power comes up through this wheel will be going through here and out through the spring pick up to power the lights. I'll just double check. No connection there. Now we just trim up those little bits of wire so they don't get frail around and tangle up in anything. Just tidy it up and then we can stick it into the bogey and then uh, we can solder everything together. So we'll look at that next. Here's all the soldering complete now. So let's just run through the components. So over here we have a brown and green cable coming up from the pickups on the wheels, going into the bridge rectifier. Then out from that we have the negative going off to the LEDs. The positive side is going up through the potentiometer here and the output has a resistor on it going to the LED strip. And then we have the capacitor is wired across the neutral and the live. So that's uh, the black and the red with the resistor between the capacitor and the live going into the LED strip. So let's assemble the coach put it on the track and see if it works. If you're wondering about the, the thin wires here, I got a tip from Alan from Dragon Junction. He was on about using SCART leads, break them up to get thinner wires. And that actually made me think that I've got a load of old VGA cables, which are computer cables. And I was able to break them up and that gave me loads of nice thin wires to use in this sort of thing so thanks alan for that tip i'll put a link to his channel down below so you can check him out now let's put it on the test track so here we have the coach all assembled it's all put together capacitor down this end all the other bits up this end and you can see there the dcc concept pickups on the axles just one thing i forgot to mention earlier on when i was fitting these is you probably need to clean the axles with a bit of sandpaper or something like that just to make sure there's good electrical contact between them you can see there the leads are then soldered onto wires which go on up into the body so let's set it on the track and see how it goes let's place it on the track and see what happens there we go all lit up and you can see the interior now and if I lift this end off, it's got the pickups in it. You'll see the light stays on and gradually dims. So that's the capacitor discharging, powering the lights. So if there's any breaks in the track or dirty track, you won't see any flicker in the light. And also the potentiometer, the variable resistor that's in the end. I can twist that now and I can vary the brightness of the lights. Hopefully you can see that where they've dimmed down. And if I want I can bring them back up again. So you can see at the end just in the window there that's where I placed the variable resistor or the potentiometer. You just use a screwdriver just to twist it and adjust it. So it just vary the brightness, of the lights and the carriages. So I hope you enjoyed that, putting lights to the coach. Uh, I'll put a link to all the components I used in that down below. And I'll also insert a picture of the circuit diagram here so you can have a look at it. And I'll make that available to download with the link below. Uh, you can also get these sort of things here, which are already made circuits for your coach lighting if you don't want the trouble of soldering the individual components. I picked this up last time I was at Worley. You can see it's got everything there that I've just fitted. 
just on a nice little neat circuit board. So don't forget to check out my channel members. And if you'd like to become a channel member, links in the description or there's a join button below this video. But do check out the channel members. Their video links are down below. So as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.